How are you doing? I'm not, thanks for asking. I think you're the first person to ever ask me that. Really? On the show. I think I'm doing pretty good. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear How that. How are you doing? Um, uh, you know, it's it's been a it's been a wild uh, past couple of weeks, just getting ready for the release and doing all the stuff. I just came in from New York yesterday and uh, played a gig there, and then I'm here, and then I gotta go back home and get into the groove of home for just a couple of days, and I'm back here. So it's kind of, it's a little messy at home, yeah, so I feel terrible about it. Well, the messy at home and the getting into the groove at home is kind of what I want to talk about, because when I listen to this record, it seems to be you kind of analyzing those relationships you have with your family, like the, the people who are the closest to you. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely, um, it, it's definitely that. Uh, I think, you know, a couple years ago, Natalia and I were taking stock of some things and we kind of were having, you know, some challenges. This is, and This is your wife. Yeah, Natalia, mm -hmm. who also is in the band. Yeah. The Deers. And, um, and uh, I think we we're just trying to find a, a, a new groove moving forward with some stuff. And, uh, and I don't know, I just, I think I never want to lose, like, what's most important to me in that like I think it's a, it's the glue that keeps me together you know it's like the thing that make that I feel is making me a better man a better person and uh and so I prioritize that part of my life a lot you know and um and so this album is really kind of going through that that like I guess just kind of taking stock and 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 um and expressing, you know, it's de the album's dedicated to those guys, you know, and um, everything I do is is for them, you know. Was, like, was there, was there a moment that made you realize that you needed to take stock of this? I mean, it just it, it sounds to me like the, the the record is maybe a realization. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, yeah, I, I I mean, I wouldn't say there was any sort of like like big bang moment but it was more like um there's just a lot of stuff going on that i felt there was a there was a it was a very slow change usually when i go through these sort of revelations i've gone through a couple of them in my life and and i feel like each one has made made me better than i was before and uh around the time when i um around the time my son was born i um, I decided to like kind of part ways with, uh, with, uh, whiskey and stuff like that. And just kind of like, kind of see things differently. And so I, I didn't, I haven't drank, I haven't had any whiskey in like seven years. Right. And, and that was a big, that was a big part of things, you know, in a weird, you know, you don't realize it. And, um, and now I have a totally different relationship with that world, you know, like, so I have a lot of rules and parameters when I'm on the road and stuff like that to keep my head clear and, and, um, maintain the best person I can be, you know? It's challenging, A, being on the road and, um, having a family at all. Oh my God. Yes. You know? Extremely. Especially with you and your partner both being on the road. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's, it's becoming, uh, more, um... Uh, prevalent in like among our contemporaries a lot of them a lot of us are getting older and having kids and having to and a lot of us are going through the same struggles or it's like or for me it's like missing my kids you know and missing a lot of stuff like this morning all I could think about this morning this very morning on the way over here was just like oh man Natalia's got to do the whole morning routine by herself and it's a it's a production you yeah. know every morning getting these guys off to the to school and all that stuff so it's like and all I could think about is it's like I'm not there and you know but I'll be there tomorrow so it's like you know but it's like I'm thinking about all the tour dates and um I had a situation actually uh like there's so many things that are I find it's I had a situation last week where um I had to call my uh UK agent because um I needed to my I have my kid has a school concert coming up and there was a total con conflict mm. and I really did not want she's singing in it and all this stuff I didn't want to miss you it. You don't want to so, miss that I understand. I was yeah. just like it's just a 
gig in Belgium. It's like Belgium will still be there later. Like I'll just can we just you know shuffle that over and so I can be home for that. So I, I you know that that's the stuff that it's a, it's reached that level now where I'm ready to cancel a gig to be at the school concert. <laughs> that's probably that's a good thing, Maria. I think that's that's probably a pretty good thing. Does your does your how old your oldest kid? She's thirteen. And does she listen to this music? Like, has she heard this record? Um, she hears it in the background. She is all, she's full emo right now. So uh, she's like, yeah. uh, uh, we went to the, we've seen Panic at the Disco twice now. Although they're way less emo and full pop now. But, um, uh, and she's into like Fall Out Boy and My Chemical Romance. and like. Does uh, she know how cool her dad is? Does she know... Her dad's a cool dad. I don't know. I, dad I don't and her mom. I'm, I don't think I'll ever be cool. You know, like I think you know we're still we're going we go through a lot of stuff. There's a lot of changes going on over there, man. Um, <laughs> and uh, and I'm just navigating those the best. I'm learning so much. It's like advanced advanced parenting going on right now. Well, I, I want I want to get you to play another song, but before you do that, like just tell me about what this does for you then, like to crystallize this. Because I know you, you called this record the truest record you ever made. What what does this what does this do for you to write these songs that are so personal about your family about people? Well, you love? I mean, here's the thing. I'm I'm less concerned about it what it's doing for me. My problem really is that I don't I don't really know how to do anything else like well like well enough that maybe I can earn some scratch out of it, you know. And and uh, I I'm I more think about like the people that I meet on the road who tell me this song saved my life, this song saved my life, this record saved my life, this song saved my life. I hear it all the time. And I I think about those people and that's why essentially I still, I'm still standing, I'm still doing this, you know? Um, because I know that there's something about those people that I meet that I feel like there's something, there's a connection there. I don't know these people, but I know that we're, if they're, if I'm writing about something that's close to me, then it's this way that I write in a super personal way that I think other people are going to hopefully go through the same, they, like they're kind of going through and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of here to say like, I hear you, yeah. you know, yeah. I know what's going on and, Here's 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 something to hopefully make you feel better about it. You know, I guess I guess that's what I I figured out that that's like maybe my role. Right. You know, well, I I want to hear some more music. Okay, sure. How do you feel about? It? Nice to talk to you, by the way. Oh, well, it's great talking to you, man. 